you are indeed right this is autoimmune pancreatitis specifically the type 1 variant of autoimmune pancreatitis not to be confused with type 2 variant of autoimmune pancreatitis which is a completely different beast this is a very low power image of the pancreas and the thing that strikes me the most with these cases of type 1 autoimmune pancreatitis is this lobulated pattern of growth note these lobule here here's another lobule and these lobules almost fit together in a jigsaw pattern like appearance and this is very different from pancreatic adenocarcinoma which is a very close mimic at least clinically pancreatic adenocarcinomas almost never show this lobulated pattern of growth the two things that you'll almost always see with both forms of autoimmune pancreatitis is fibrosis and inflammation and you'll find this fibrosis specifically in this case storiform type fibrosis between the lobules in this case the storiform type pattern of fibrosis is organized in these very short fascicles that seem to be woven together almost like a basket weave like pattern storiform type fibrosis is a fairly characteristic but not in itself a diagnostic feature of type 1 autoimmune pancreatitis so perhaps the most characteristic feature of type 1 autoimmune pancreatitis is obliterative phlebitis. And here's a focus of an obliterated vein. One of the challenges to identifying foci of obliterative phlebitis is identifying these partially or completely obliterated veins. And a rule of the thumb that has worked very well for me over the years is that most arteries and veins run together and therefore, if you see a circumscribed aggregate of inflammatory cells like seen here, that's very suspicious for an obliterated vein. An elastic stain can be very helpful. In this particular case, there's also a focus of arteritis. In fact, you may see obliterative arteritis, particularly in the pancreas. So this was type 1 autoimmune pancreatitis. And you're probably asking yourself, where's my IgG4 stain? Indeed, the IgG4 stain showed greater than 50 cells per high bar field, which supports the diagnosis of type 1 autoimmune pancreatitis. But you absolutely need that stain. What if you were stuck in the middle of the Atlantic and you did not have access to the stain? That morphology is so classic that I do not absolutely need that stain, particularly if I was stuck in the middle of the Atlantic. The way I would characterize the stain is as icing on the cake. So you don't absolutely need it, but it's nice to have it. Who doesn't like icing on a cake? Do you want to hear more? Well, come to the 2021 USCAP Pancreas Companion Society meeting where I'll be talking all about type 1, type 2 autoimmune pancreatitis, and other mimics of pancreatic cancer such as follicular pancreatitis. Thanks for listening.